Hey, I'm Dennis. In this video, I will show you how to set up a fresh Archives Explorer project and how to add the realistic expansion on top of it. Then I will go over some settings, which you will need to pay attention to when migrating Archives Explorer into an existing project. Go to your library and download the most recent version of Unreal Engine. Also, make sure that it's set to current. You can do that by clicking on the small arrow right next to the launch button. When you scroll down to your vault, you shall see the button Create Project. However, if you already have downloaded Archive Explorer for an older engine version, you will see Update instead of Create Project. Now, type in your desired project name and click on Create. Once the download has been completed, you will see your project under My Projects. The next step is to add the realistic expansion into our fresh project. You can find the download link in the description of the product page. Once the download is complete, extract the file and copy the new content folder into your project folder. Now you are ready to open up your project. Do a double click on the uProject file or use the Epic Games Launcher instead. Let's navigate to the Maps folder and open the level called Realistic01. As you can see, this is the same level we are using in our promotions. You may already have noticed that Archives Explorer comes as a complete project. It is therefore intended to be used as a base template that users can build upon. If you still want to migrate it into an existing project, you need to check some settings. So. Let's assume that this is an already existing project. The first thing you want to do is to go to your project settings, maps and modes, and set your default game mode to BP Explorer game mode. Also make sure that your game instance class is set to BP Explorer game instance. The next step is to check your key bindings under input. Please note that you can export the Arthas Explorer inputs over to your project by simply using the export and import buttons on the top right corner. In order to use the dynamic sun and atmosphere within your own project, you should enable the sun position calculator plugin. Inside of the plugins menu, search for sun and set the sun position calculator to enabled. Following that, Unreal Engine should ask you for a restart, which you should accept. There is one more thing about the migration process that needs to be mentioned. Some users have been complaining that their scenes are overexposed after migrating Arthas Explore assets to their new project. The reason for that is that we choose to use physical lighting units for our project. This is like the new standard for lighting, however some older mobile devices aren't supporting that feature. The exposure can't handle the higher than usual light intensities and material emissive values. You can learn more about that on Unreal Engine's documentation page. If you also have an overexposure issue with your scene, you should check the following settings. First. Go to the engine scalability settings and make sure that is set to high or above. Next, go to your project settings. 
under the category engine, select rendering and scroll down to default settings. Set extend default luminance range in auto exposure settings to true. According to the Unreal Engine documentation, you should always enable that option if you're going to use the sun and sky actor inside of your project. 